Hello, my name is Timothy Trespass and I'm a human being who has found himself targeted with more gallons. Gang stalked, covertly drugged with LSD and other drugs, infected, infested, forced to move 13 times in three years, blacklisted, poor, step away from homelessness, and uh, very sick and uh, frequently refused medical attention, pain relief. Uh, on and on the story goes, as many of you know, the loud ringing in the ears, the sickness, the rapid aging, weight loss, and the whole rest of it. And as I stand here in the cold, in this two warm jackets that I found, uh, with my warm cup of coffee that I put in the microwave, smoking a cigarette, which isn't so good for me. Um, with a warm house to go back into, and a bedroom, and a bed, and somebody to speak to that I love, that loves me, and uh, some food to eat, and a toilet, and a shower, and a roof over my head, shoes on my feet, socks, underwear, pants, etc. I remind myself of how many blessings <laughs> that I do have. And um, I thank the Lord for all the little things that are so big when you don't have them. And I just wanted to comment on, on that specifically because I know that uh, as a targeted individual suffering, I suffer quite a bit and uh, I complain a lot about the uh, inhuman treatment and ungodly actions of others that bring about this type of real reality to one's life and uh, it's easy to forget Excuse me, it's easy to forget at times just how blessed we can, we are. Uh, excuse me. And uh, there's many times during this adventure, this traumatic adventure that I call my life, where I find myself feeling hopeless and helpless and alone and fearful of the future, of the illness, of being sick enough that I have to put myself completely in the hands of other people uh, and having nothing to fall back on, being unable to build anything up or have anything and I think about the the dreams I had as I was when I was younger about successful life and business and all the things that were destroyed and stolen and the many years where I thought it was my fault and didn't understand that there were other people working to influence my life in directions that I didn't want it to go and all of this sounds very unreal to many people who can't understand how or why someone, anyone, would want to spend time or money or resources ruining nobody's life. Um, and I realized that although I am someone, I'm also no one. Because there's 12 or so billion other people on the planet and all of them have ideas and hopes and dreams and pain and suffering, sickness, aging, good times, bad times, people who love them, feeling alone, uh, you know, it, it stems the entire range and, and I don't forget that, you know, I, I know that I'm just a little speck in this whole thing, but at the same time, I am. 
I experience, I feel, I dream, I hope, I pray, I wish, I feel pain, sadness, happiness, joy, anger, frustration, confusion, um, all of these things, and uh, I'm grateful for the many people who reach out, and the many people who have kind things to say, or prayers to give, or the people who actually send us things. It's, it's a miracle, it's a blessing, and I'm grateful. Thank you. Uh, when I read the comments, uh, it's easy to tell who is suffering alongside of us and who is just trying to make it appear that we're not in touch with reality, that we don't know what's going on, that we're just some crazy people who babble incoherently and make things up for whatever reason. It's easy to see the people who have an agenda who want other people who may stumble across these videos to think that they're not worth watching or this man is just full of crap or whatever it is it's fairly easy to tell the difference between the people who are suffering the people who are are trying to understand this the people who are trying to help one another and the people who have an agenda that is negative you know, then there's the people who just troll YouTube for fun and kick the people who are funny looking or crazy looking or down or whatever and I understand that it's uh, you know throw them to the lions kind of entertainment and although I disagree with it and, and it hurts my heart to see humanity drop to such a level I, I recognize that but those people with agendas you know are they being paid to uh, to treat others this way they must be, because to spend that much time and effort, you know, to make somebody look like they're crazy is uh, not something you do for fun. So, that being said, one of the reasons I make these videos is to document what is happening to us. Another reason is because I have so much emotional trauma and confusion and whatnot that I need to express it. Another reason is because I feel it might help someone else to see that possibly they are not alone, that there are similar insane things happening to others, that, you know, that, that this isn't all in their head. and. Uh, I wonder at the many doctors and psychiatrists and psychologists and therapists who can't seem to grasp the reality of this situation. And I understand that many people have difficulty uh, accepting things that they have not experienced, although I question why people have difficulty with such things when every day they watch movies and television and read books and the newspaper and elsewhere and see stories similar to this where people are doing outrageous things with science fiction like technology and time travel and dimensional whatever and you know, aliens and monsters and all of these things we've seen in films and it allows us to conceptualize things that we may not have experienced. Those of us who have experienced them find it difficult to explain to others what we've experienced because others frequently don't wish to understand or accept what we tell because maybe it makes them fearful, possibly it disrupts their understanding of what is and their perspective of life and how to live it and I wish at times I could live in a world where I didn't know the things that I know or hadn't seen the things I've seen 
ignorance can be bliss for some, but for others, it's dangerous. The truth needs to come out, and understanding needs to be found, and science needs to be used to determine what's going on. Spirituality and our connection to our higher power and God are very essential in times where life itself seems to be our enemy and uh, remembering that in fact we do have many things to be grateful for is a lesson I give myself over and over when I'm feeling down I go through the list of things that I still have the ability to see and speak and walk the ability to make these videos and put them online for others to see and experience and I thank you for that, I thank God for that and that's all I have to say at this time thank you for watching God bless you all